Job stress is about the balance between the demands or requirements of a job and the resources provided to do it. And when those are out of balance, too much demands relative to resources, people get distressed. And the main way that that's dealt with in workplaces is to focus on the worker, make him or her tougher, better able to withstand stresses. But that can only go so far. Um, unless you deal with the root cause of that problem, the working conditions, the demands of the job, and resource those demands adequately, the person will remain stressed and can then experience depression, anxiety, heart disease, diabetes, a whole range of things. So it's a huge problem. So what can you do about it? Well, the evidence says that if you focus only on the individual worker and say, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, it's not going to work. You might affect that individual a little bit, but you're not going to really reduce, uh, improve productivity across the workplace. When you combine work-directed intervention with worker-directed intervention, that is looking at those working conditions that lead to stress, then you get the best results. Improved health, improved health behaviors as well amongst employees, reduced sickness absence, lower presenteeism, so there's benefits for organizations and individuals and of course population health. Um, so the challenge is uh, when you go into a given organization, how to do it. So we have a general prescription for what to do, combine work-directed and worker-directed intervention. But how do you do that? Does it look the same in a convenience store on the corner to the police department down the street, to the school over here, to the manufacturing business there? No, it's actually complicated. You have to work it out. What control looks like for me versus um, a teacher versus some other worker is different, and there are different interventions that need to be devised to deal with that. The work that we're doing with Victoria Police will focus on probationary constables. So probationary constables are those um, members of the organisation who have been with Victoria Police for less than two years. Um, like any organisation or, or any sector, um, the employees or a group of the employees that are particularly susceptible to experiencing high levels of stress are so those people who are new to the organisation and who are inexperienced. And in the case of probationary constables, they've come straight from the academy, from a fairly supportive, highly supportive environment, um, into stations um, where they have varying levels of support and where they have varying levels of, of contact with, with other people within that station. Um, and where there's a huge transition that's taking place for them and where there are, are, are new challenges around every corner. They're coming to terms with the, the actual tasks that they're being expected to complete. At the same time, they're, they're coming to terms with a, a different organisational culture, with different um, policies, procedures, rules, um, informal um, associations and networks. And so. It's, it's a very challenging period and so what we're trying to do is to, to work with that group to identify well what are their specific needs, what, what are the sources of stress and at the same time what are the positives um, within um, the organisation, within the stations in which they're working and um, then developing strategies to be able to address those needs.